What's going on guys? Today we're gonna talk about the most popular IT jobs in 2024, according to the data. So I've identified three different roles that are continuously popping up in the research that I've done for the most popular IT jobs out there. Now you might be somebody who's not set on a specific niche of IT yet and you're trying to get an understanding of where you're gonna fit best. Um, and I have laid out a couple things here uh, that can contribute to a successful position. Um, Work-life balance, uh, salary, and things of that nature that we'll go into briefly and discuss this way that if you're you know on the edge teetering you don't know if you want to do you know this niche of IT or this niche that maybe this will give you a better understanding of what's popular out there today so that you're able to make an educated guess on your long-term education and real quick guys I want to talk to you about the sponsor of this video the Southern New Hampshire University and what they have is something special here now are you somebody that really is not happy in the position that they're at right now maybe you've been at a company for a few years or you've been in an industry for four years that really just does not suit you well and you're looking for a new start in cybersecurity cybersecurity looks intriguing and fun and you want to get into it well the southern New Hampshire University has a cybersecurity program that is 100% online. With this program, you're going to learn about network security, application security, incident response, and so much more. It doesn't take a rock and scientist to see every day there is a new breach of major industries that's bringing down companies, losing data, etc. A great start is to get into Southern New Hampshire University into their cybersecurity degree program. SNHU is accredited university. It's a nonprofit university and it has a radically affordable tuition. Jobs in cybersecurity are expected to grow by 32% by 2032. If you're looking for your start, this is where it is. So if you're interested, click the link down below in the description where you can check out what an average salary for a cybersecurity analyst is and also where you can get started. The first job that we're gonna talk about today is a software developer. Obviously, you know this was gonna be on the list. This is one of the higher paying positions out there and the one of the jobs that have been at the top of IT roles for a long time when it comes to the amount of openings for the position. So the first topic I want to get into with each of these positions is the job growth. When I was in school, one of the things that I made sure to do was to check the job growth in the field that I was getting into. You don't want to ever go into school and not be prepared in the sense of um, what your job is going to look like when you're done school. So a good metric that I'm going to use for this video is what is the job growth in the next five to 10 years for the position? So for the software developer position, the job growth is actually expected to rise by 25%. That is a big number um, in terms of job growth in only a few years. So that's one thing that you can count on if you're interested in being a software developer is that when you get out of school, there are gonna be plenty of jobs out there for you. The next topic I wanna talk about is the salary of the position. Uh, for this salary position for a software developer, an average salary is about $145,000 a year. Now, this is just the average salary, guys. So don't come out of school expecting this. Um, you should expect it within a couple of years, though. And obviously, a little bit lower than this when you're coming into the field, maybe 80, 90,000. It would be expected for a software developer. Now, the next topic we'll go into is the work-life balance. The work-life balance for a software developer is actually very great from what I've heard. Um, a couple people, a couple friends of mine that have endeavored into this path of IT have expressed that they have a pretty sound work-life balance 
and that their nine to five really doesn't interrupt any other part of their day. So that's good to know for those of you that just never want to work after five o'clock. So I thought that was a good metric to put into this and uh, let's get into the last metric. So the last metric I want to talk about is is a degree necessary for the position? That's a question that I get from a lot of my subscribers and they want to know, do you need a degree for this or can I do a boot camp or anything like that? I think out of all of the positions I'm mentioning, this is definitely one that's not going to ultimately 100% require a degree for your best shot. If you can show that you can code and you can perform algorithms and that you can do what is needed to do daily projects um, as they're presented to you in interviews, nine times out of 10, most people will have a easier time getting into a role without the degree. However, I do suggest that you would get like some kind of computer science degree or something like that. The next role we're going to talk about is a data analyst. A data analyst is a crucial position to an organization. Why so? They gather all of the metrics, the numbers, the data, and pull it all together, cleanse it, make sure that it's accurate, as well as looking at historical data and giving the company some insight on where they have been and where they're going in terms of finance, employees, everything. I mean, everything comes down to data and, you know, data is what we're protecting. Uh, data is the product half the time. So this is a very important role. The job outlook for the next 10 years in this position is also a whopping 25%. So that's something that you will not have to worry about if you get out of school. There's going to be jobs. You're going to have to put, you know, one foot in front of the other to make sure that you're networking and reaching out and doing what you should be doing to stay current. But generally, you're going to have a position when you get out of college, so long as you put in the footwork. So that's good to know. The average salary for a data analyst is a little bit lower than a software developer, obviously. And you're looking around $80,000 a year for the average salary. So you should expect around 60 to 70 coming out of school, which is still a great salary for somebody brand new to the field. Now, the work-life balance, again, a lot of what I have seen and researched shows that a data analyst's work-life balance is fairly good, and most times they don't have to work off hours. And that is a good thing, again, for somebody who wants to stop at five o'clock and be done. So that's a good thing to look forward to if you want to be a data analyst. And the last thing I want to talk about regarding this position is is a degree required now this is where i would say that a general it degree is required for the position to get your foot in the door more so than a software developer for sure so keep that in mind that this is something you definitely want to get a degree in it now when i say that most of these positions if you have a generalized it degree that is enough as long as you're following up with some industry specific certifications so let's move on to the last position obviously the best according to me uh, a cybersecurity professional is obviously on the top three lists of the most in demand IT jobs out there. The cybersecurity role in IT is expected to grow by 32% in the next five to 10 years, which is 7% more than the other positions. Cybersecurity is hot. Um, cybersecurity is vastly needed and understaffed. So this is to be expected when it comes to this position. Obviously, when you get out of school, as long as you put in the correct footwork and, you know, maybe you even have a little bit of IT help desk experience, you will get yourself um, a role. Now, what is the salary for the cybersecurity position? You're going to be expecting around an average of one hundred and thirty four thousand as of twenty twenty four. Now, this is just an average. Again, don't expect this right out of school. Expect around seventy thousand out of school and you can quickly work your way up with more experience. Um, so don't 
definitely don't have to worry about the money when it comes to the position um, it's readily out there you just have to make sure that your skill set is what's needed for the field now the work-life balance of a cybersecurity professional can get a little dicey um, sometimes there are obviously attacks that happen outside of business hours and you will have to you know remediate those situations as they come it's the nature of the job hackers never sleep now is this a 24 7 thing no and if it is then you know reconsider the position because obviously everybody needs a healthy work-life balance but there will be occasional times where you're gonna have to work after hours to perform certain things like firewall um, upgrades uh, VPN issues you know uh, any type of security incidents so expect that if you are looking to get into cybersecurity now the last point for this is do i need a degree for a cybersecurity position i would 100 percent recommend a degree any type of it degree to get your foot into the door when it comes to cybersecurity. it's already very hard to get a job as is so you want to make sure that you have not only the degree but get yourself a certification i always recommend the security plus and also network and you know broaden your horizons when it comes to the people that you know. Um, sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know, uh, but you do need to know when it comes to cybersecurity. So make sure you get that degree. Try to get some you know IT help desk experience while you're in school trying to get your degree, and then get your certification. Um, I highly recommend it. I would not recommend trying to get in the security without the degree. However, it is possible. So if you're that person, you know, it is possible if you can't afford the uh, college route. So those were the three positions that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I hope that this has given you a better outlook on what's popular in the market right now so that you can make an educated decision on what field is best for you. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you.